As promised, I'm going to show you how we made these little coffee, uh, coffee grinders or coffee mills. And it is on this little shelf because that's how we obtained the wood to do it. And I'm going to show you, maybe sometime I'll show you how, to, how we built this. This is all again uh, around the building of uh, kitchen items, the table, and then we wanted a little shelf to put on, maybe someone wanted to build a little room box, which a lot of them did a little, for the little diorama. We found this little bird feeder. Let's see, is it Dollarama or, I forget now. Uh, I think it's Dollarama, anyway, Dollar Store. And they have these little uh, kits on how to make this little bird feeder. The bird feeder itself has all these beautiful bits of wood. Voila, this is the bit that started the whole thing. We used these pieces to build the shelf. And I can show you on another video maybe how we did do that. The post, which holds up the little bird feeder roof, had two purposes. Um, one was to build a little, these little bird houses, because look what's at the top here. Does look like a little bird house wannabe, doesn't, doesn't it? We built a whole bunch of different ones. So we also did kits for them. And I can show you how we did that on another video. Let's put that aside. And then these were cut into little blocks. And this is how we came up with the kit. And the kit we handed out. So then we had those. And along with that, we had a top and a bottom. As you can see here, top and a bottom. These were rough cuts and then people were to, to do um, the exact cut afterwards. This little bit here is also important because that becomes the little drawer. Whoops, this little, here, little drawer. And we have the bowl, found these in my beads. That's it, <laughs> yes. And I just love the way it looked. And then we had these beads, one for the handle and one for the inside, along with a, and a tiny little bead um, that we will use as the little drawer pull. I also used a little sequin to give the bowl a little bit of a base. Okay, let's talk about these two little bits of wood. Obviously, it's not from the kit uh, the, the, the bird feeder kit because this is too thick. If you were to add this onto here, it becomes way too thick. As you can see, this is seems to be a nice thickness. There are various ways that you can get that. Now, this little bit here that I have comes from um, my supplies in wood shop, um, and it's just some tape uh, that you get from the hardware store. Please do not go and, and buy a whole bunch of tape like this. Um, it's wood tape and it's meant for and for edging um, pieces in the wood shop um, and it has glue on the other side because it gets ironed on however it's expensive so don't do that there are different ways to get this little bit of wood um, you might have some of this kind of plywood it's very very thin plywood in your um, you know in your uh, hobby room already this is really really a nice um, thickness for that um, this kind of little one is also not bad as you can see it is not as thick as the other one prefer to use I don't know if you're familiar with it is veneer this is another kind of veneer which is paper backed um, and that becomes really nice um, as well um, if you know of um, carpenter or not really a carpenter but a cabinet maker in your area and it has a shop go there because they'll have scraps like this. The veneer is a, it's really just a very thin uh, wood coating, but this is actually wood. And what I, what I did was I used just one layer of, of that wood here, which is great. If it's too thin, you can, you can actually double up, glue the wood together. So if you find that it's too thin, like glue two layers together, but you know what? The thinner, the better because 
it becomes more uh, in line with the 12th scale. So I would just use one layer. So those are ideas. Now, having said that, um, sometimes getting this kind of supply is hard to get. So I would not have a problem using um, not the card from uh, cereal boxes, but the next weight up. And if you cut a little bit of that, it not only looks like wood, so you already have an advantage there, um, but it's just the right thickness as well. That would be a lovely, um, lovely base. And you cut it with the scissors uh, or your hobby knife, as long as you paint it on both sides, um, there won't be any warpage. The little block, it's not going to be nice and um, smooth all the way around. So what you need to do is grab yourself um, I just glued this little bit of um, sandpaper onto this. I have, this was a piece left from my dollhouse that I never used. And I simply would do like this. I'm sure you've seen people do this on TV. One, um, do it to, towards one side only, and then you turn it over to the other side. Do the same thing like that. So it's nice and um, now the two bits, the two sides, that are going to be facing down glued to the to the bottom don't really have to have a very nice um, finish so focus mainly on the sides that are going to be exposed a lot of people do is try to sand it in their hand like this that's just not going to work you're going to get some um some rounded edges it's okay if that's the look you're going for but obviously we don't want rounded edges we want nice and square so you can eyeball this cut here. Now you cut one and then check it out. Give yourself a little bit um, so that you can uh, sand it down and make the edges nice as well. Give this sharp corners a bit of a sand. I'm doing them together. That way you know that they're both going to be the same. All right, so now that you fit the two pieces, I'm going to actually do a little bit of rounding the edge. So gently, if you're using this type of wood, it's ready. The cube is ready. Uh, let's get the little drawer also ready. Little drawer is just a little bit that I cut. And now I'm going to cut, as you can see, it's way too wide. So we'll cut it down to. So again, let's go back to the sanding, sand the edges. Okay, so now let's assemble all the, the wood, some glue, and I use um, tight bond. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on the top. If you intend to use wood varnish or wood stain, make sure that your wood does not have glue on it because uh, so clean clean your edges nice wood stain does not take to glued air areas so that's now the drawer ready to stain our paint I did two coats and I found that it really hid all the nice wood grain. So I went over it and I just took a, a toothpick and I scratched it a little bit and it brought out some grain. It doesn't look as nice on camera, but it is uh, quite effective when you see it in, in person. Um, that's also something that you can um, consider doing if you use the cardboard because the cardboard obviously won't have any grains. That's if you want to see the wood grain. I like wood grain, but not everybody does, or you could have just gone totally opaque. 
Anyway, that's going to set aside. Now let's talk about the top bit, which is the bow and the handle. And the bow, like I told you, I happen to have these lovely bowls. I have exactly two of them left and I'm guarding it with my life right now in case I want to make another one of these. But I do have um, a couple of ideas for you. Okay, uh, now you're, you may not have that little bowl, but you might find these. These are easy to get. Uh, see, that's a nice one. Not um, having one of those, most of us have these little bells in our supplies. Take the little, there's a name for that. I don't remember what it is now, but it, right now it just looks like a one tiny little guitar. Something to think about. But you have this little um, bell, which could also be a little bowl. If I was going to use this, I would actually countersink uh, that into the top. And all that means is that I would drill a hole on the top here, not drill, but just cut out a little bit of a hole um, so that I could sink this a little bit. So it's not so bell shaped, but it's actually quite cute. I also have these little um, acorn tops. Okay, so when I use these natural products, I don't just bring it from the ground and start using it. I actually cook it um, at about 300 degrees for um, maybe 15, 20 minutes. So there's no chance of any live critters um, growing on them uh, or trying to survive. Um, if you're going to use it, drill the hole before you um, paint because you may not, um, it may not work first time around, it may split. So I'm going to go right inside there like that. Okay, so I'm going to go gently Going to enlarge it with this thumbtack. Well, it's various ways to handle stuff, I guess. And I'm if I decide afterwards I want it to be shiny, because it's not going to be very shiny, it's um, going to dull up a little bit. Give it another coat. Clumsy with stuff like this. So that's done. All right. I have the little guy here, it's ready to go. Good thing about enamel, it dries fast. I'm going to use the little base, but before I do, I'm going to use the little base. It's shiny, it's very shiny, but it doesn't matter, it's going to be covered. It's just a little more substance, a little more detail. Um, it's going to go there, that's going to go there, and then the handle goes. A little bit of glue onto the top. A little bit goes a long way with this glue. Okay. Then you know, we'll um, drill into the wood, and that'll help keep the handle in place. Now, now you're going to glue the acorn top. I mean the bowl. Okay. There. And then I'm going to sit it on the center. I cut off the, the little head like that and just in your pliers. Okay, so you have that glued on. You've made the handle so that one bit is facing upwards. Let's do it this way. One bit is facing upwards, the other bit is facing down. That. And the long part is the part that's going to go in to the grinder. And you've drilled long enough that when the handle is there, it actually turns. So you can do that. I think that's okay. I think that's all right. And before we glue this down, 
this little bead's going to go in there. Like that. Oh, came right out. Okay. Now that little bead is loose, so you have to be aware of that. Oh, once you have it in there, drop in a little bit of crazy glue. Um, so you, it, you can barely see it, but it will it will make sure that the bead doesn't come off, and that's on the on the bottom here. Or you know what? Uh, clear nail polish. Just drop it right in there. I'll point it out to you here. Drop it right inside there. Okay, let's see here. Okay, drop it right in there. It'll hold the bead down, and yet will still give you the ability to turn this little handle. That is just little details. It's fun. I'm not pushing that in far enough. Okay, there you go. This one, the first one that I did, is stable. A little improvement as we go along. This one is mobile. And then you're going to take this one and we're going to add a tiny bit of glue to the top here. This is um, Gorilla Glue. I play around with a lot of different glues. It's whatever sort of comes to, to my hand and works. Okay, now that that's there, Okay, so have a tiny little hole bead here. And put the little handle. So here we are, the one we just finished. And it moves. And here's the one that I had done before. The one that was my demo for the workshop and the one that I just did now with the acorn top as the little bowl, which I think I rather like it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Make one for yourself, one for a friend and um, hope you come back for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notification of our upcoming videos. Keep checking. Thanks again and be safe.